Hi, my name is Tim Canfer. I teach music and music technology at Barnsley College. This podcast is an introduction to soundproofing and space acoustics, arguably two of the most neglected areas in sound recording, but they're essential if you want your recordings to sound consistently good. First, I'm going to talk about soundproofing. Soundproofing, essentially, is isolating the sound in a room from any unwanted noise from outside. In recording, we tend to call unwanted sound noise. The last thing you'd want over a flawless vocal take would be the random rumblings of traffic outside, or drums leaking through from the drum booth. You might not think this would be such a problem because the drums are on the same track anyway, but it's going to be a nightmare to process the vocals with all this drum sound on it. Unwanted sound from the same instruments we call spill. It is essential to remove as much spill as possible to get what we call good sound at source. Good sound at source is what you're looking for as an engineer. So how do we soundproof a room? The secret is in decoupling. Coupling is when two things are placed together. If you were to try to listen to someone in another room while they're talking to someone else and you place your ear against the wall, effectively you're coupling your ear against the wall to make it louder. You pull your ear away and it becomes decoupled and makes it quieter. Ideally, everything in a studio should be decoupled. As much space between different things as possible. The ideal solution would be to have a room within a room, magically suspended in the middle of the room and surrounded by a vacuum. Obviously, that can't happen. That would be very, very impractical. But what you'll see in any studio is as many different layers between things as possible to cut down on the sound. OK, to show you what I mean, I'll walk through from the control room into the studio. There should always be at least two doors separating the air from the two of them, effectively decoupling the room. So, first door, I'll go into the corridor. You should notice it gets a little bit quieter. A little bit quiet. Still talking? Still talking now as we go into the main studio. Close the door behind Okay, you can also see that the window is pretty effectively isolating the recording area from the controlling room. Both panes are double glazed and they're at an angle as well, which is going to help us when we come to the next part.